For years now, right here, we've been telling you about how farms all across Maine have been contaminated with municipal sludge used as fertilizer that contain toxic PFAS chemicals. But food from those farms isn't the only way Mainers have been exposed to the compounds. They're called forever chemicals because they can't be broken down by water or solvents. They can also be found in food wrappers, nonstick cookware and cosmetics, and they're used to make furniture stain proof. So how can we work with our doctors to find out our own level of exposure? New Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us. Dr. Rachel Criswell is a family practitioner at Reddington Fairview General Hospital. She has about a dozen patients who have elevated levels of toxic compounds known as PFAS in their blood, but monitoring their health has been challenging. It was really hard to understand sort of what level of PFAS should we be concerned about. Some of the patients are from the Fairfield area, where residents have some of the highest levels in their blood and drinking water, not only in Maine, but across the country. Previously, federal health officials did not recommend blood testing because the majority of the U.S. population is believed to already have some level of PFAS in their systems. Exposure to the chemicals, which take years to break down, has been linked to a number of health issues, from organ cancer to thyroid problems. Recent National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine guidelines say blood testing for people with current or past exposure is needed to better monitor possible health concerns. Elevated levels trigger recommended screenings for both adults and children. It also includes thyroid testing um, for adults and it includes uh, screening for kidney cancer with a urine, um, screening for signs and symptoms of ulcerative colitis, um, as well as additional cholesterol screening for children. Dr. Abby Fleisch is a pediatric endocrinologist and environmental researcher at Maine Medical Center. She is working to help educate primary care doctors about the new recommendations, but she says there is no lab capacity for PFAS blood testing that could be out of reach for many patients. The ability for a provider to order a PFAS test is limited in Maine, and insurance doesn't always cover the test or covers only part of the cost of the test. Now, a blood serum test for PFAS can run anywhere from three to six hundred dollars, and that expense is the focus of a bill pending before the legislature. The proposal, sponsored by State Senator Stacy Brenner, would require all Maine insurance carriers to cover the cost of the testing. PFAS contamination from spreading wastewater biosolids shut down Fred Stone's century old dairy farm more than five years ago. My son and my daughter are more affected by this than we are because they were uh, poisoned, if you want to call it that, uh, when they were adolescents. Living with high levels of chemicals is a ticking time bomb, but Stone is grateful for the new PFAS guidance he believes is long overdue. Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.